And uh, yeah, let's talk a bit about um, how how did you started memory training? How did you discover memory training? And when was that? And how? In I discovered memory sports in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I saw a TV program of uh, WMC 2012, mm. and. Cool. Uh, in this in the championship, uh, you are the champion. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Good. And okay, and so you so this TV show, and then yes. I mean, how did you start then? And then uh, I uh, I was I became interested in memory sports mm -hmm. and uh, bought the book of uh, D Dominic O'Brien. Mm -hmm. And uh, I studied memory sports uh, on my own and uh, joined in the competition in 2018. Okay, so I had time for two years. And then your first competition was, what was that? What uh, this, uh, competition was that? Uh, it was the Japan Open mm -hmm. uh, official competition. And how, 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 how did you finish there? So how was that for you? Uh, that was uh, oh, uh, tenth in overall. Yeah, and uh, I was pleased by the result. But uh, I believed I will uh, improve more in the future. Yeah. So, do you do daily training or uh, like just every second day, or um, how do how does your um, training schedule look like? I try to uh, train uh, memory sports regularly, mm -hmm. uh, one one hour per day. Okay, and you in the beginning you uh, read Dominic O'Brien's book. Um, so, which with which system did you start using? Did you start using a system and changed it, or are you still using the same system as in the beginning? For let's say for uh, numbers, for example, and which one is that? Which one is that? Two digit, two, two digit system, two digit one image. Yeah, and you you still have just two digits and one image. Yes. This is, you just so there's just one hundred images, right? Yes. How do you handle the repetitions when when you memorize one thousand digits? When you memorize one thousand digits, the same image is coming again and again and again. Doesn't that confuse you? Uh, uh, not confused at all, actually. Cool. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm used to it now. Okay, so one image on one location, right? Yes. Wow. Uh, uh, two, imi two images. Two images. Image okay. Location. And cool. um, yeah. what is your approach for the right order of the two of the uh, two images? How did you manage not to swap the order? At the beginning, I uh, usually uh, swapped, but I I had I, I have discovered how to how not to uh, swap uh, these images. For example, my system uh, eighty six is hamster, mm -hmm. and twenty four is the west east and west west. Mm -hmm. So uh, eight six two four. Uh, in uh, for example, eight six two four, uh, hamster goes to the e, the west. Mm -hmm. But uh, two four eight six in in the west, hamster there is hamster. Ah, so like the that. so the in the second example, there is the west and the hamster is already there. Yes. And in the first example, the hamster goes there. Yes. Ah, so it's like. Uh, the first one, the first thing is there, and the second thing happens to the first thing somehow, or acts on the first and second thing. Yes. Cool. Um, thank you very much for sharing that. And I heard from Takero. Takero was on the stream. He was a co-commentator, and uh, he was. Um, and to explain that for the audience, Takero is in Japan. Um, has a good network with memory um, athletes and he is into memory sports for a long time already and I think you're also a good friend with him um, and he told me that you have 
in your university you are studying right right now are you yes and what what are you studying uh i studied philosophy in ah, university cool and he told me that you have a club at the university a memory sports club and you are the captain yes <laughs> so tell me more about that how how did that come and yeah w what is that yes when i entered uh, my university the club has uh, the club existed so i mm. entered the club and uh at that time there are very few people mm. three people three or four wow. participants mm. but i used uh, youtube to show memory sports to uh, university students then many students came to my club so the the club was already there and yes but but what did they do in the beginning what was i mean what did they do in the beginning without you i i did i don't know but uh maybe they also use memory geek okay cool i think so they knew about it but they don't really do a lot so and how many people are right now there uh 10 10 nice yeah, and so you are meeting once a week or how do you do that Yes, uh, twice a week. Twice a week, we, nice. Yeah, we do it together, yes. For an hour or for two hours or how do you do that? For one hour. Okay. And yes. and what is what are you doing? It's just like playing memory league or also talking about strategies. So what is how does it look like? Uh, many people knew the memory sports for the first time in university. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the beginning, I teached uh, about memory palace and when they get custom to uh, memory uh, out of memory so then uh, we use memory league mm -hmm. or uh, other uh, sources to uh, train memory skills mm, cool so um what is your goal with c club there are uh, no clear goal because the club is not the strict club. Uh, not strict, just informal. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. For for enjoy, for mm. enjoying. And um, yeah, what I ask people here is also, um, you are now since two thousand and sixteen in memory sports. Uh, how old are you today? 21? 22? Twenty one. Twenty one. So you have been sixteen or uh, fifteen back then. So what is your personal highlight in memory sports or in memory training, everything? It doesn't have to be a competition, everything in, in the last six years. What is your personal highlight in all these six years? Can be also a TV show or whatever. What do you think? What is your highlight? Highlight uh, is the last tournament. <laughs> really, is it? Cool. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah. So yeah. You, you, yeah. Re you really feel that was the highlight so far? Yes. The second uh, highlight mm -hmm. it was the first championship. I could complete 52 cards in five minutes mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. for the first time in championship. What is your advice for someone who is new to the sport? How should this person start? What is, what is the best way to start? What do you think? First of all, uh, to join in the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it may be uh, hard for beginners, but uh, to join in the championships is uh, the big experience mm -hmm. for uh, also for beginners. Okay, cool. And what is your what is your low light, if there is any, in the in the memory world so far? What is if you can name anything? If you don't, it's also okay. But what would be your low light? Uh, in 2019, I uh, missed the uh, champion in the Japan mm. Japanese championship. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the by nine nine points. Wow, nine points! This is not a not a lot. How many points did you have in the end? 
not the official championship. Mm -hmm. yep. So uh, 406. Okay. And the champion was 415. Oh, uh, wow. Close. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, you lost that in the last discipline then. In Is it Sweet Cards? Was it Sweet Cards then? Uh, that was hi historic dates. Okay. Historic dates. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But I think these low lights also motivate you to train more, to get back, right? Yeah. One Also one question, which is very interesting for everyone always is, do you use memory strategies for your daily life? And if so, for your study, how do you use that? I always use my memory palace for uh, remembering passwords. Mm -hmm. That was very convenient uh, password ID uh, numbers. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, recently, I, I learned Arabic mm -hmm. for the new languages. So uh, I uh, also use the, uh, the learning of languages so you started learning arabic uh, using memory techniques uh, when did you start when did you start uh, this april okay so you uh, you will be able to talk in arabic in egypt yes uh, i hope so <laughs> <laughs> cool i think the difference between japanese and arabic is big isn't it yes very big <laughs> <laughs> i think most biggest yes yes yeah so um, what, how, how did you manage using memory techniques for that? Because the difference is so big. So can you give us a tiny example or anything like that? In Arabic, uh, Anna is me mm -hmm. remembering that I connect the Japanese, uh, me in Japanese and Anna. So, uh, I can make uh, existing words in Japanese. What is the meaning in Japanese for Anna? It's uh, the flight company. Okay, a flight company. Ah, okay. Yeah. So you you connect the flight company with me, yes. right? Okay, so it's like, what is your story then? What what did you do here? The scene, I take a airplane. Mm -hmm. ah, you take the airplane, so you, me, me yes. is, ah, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a very cool tip. And I think that's, uh, called also the keyword method. So if you if you want to look that up, uh, you can do that. And yeah, um, one last thing I would like to talk is a bit about how can we improve memory sports? And what do you think? Uh, do you have any ideas how to improve the memory sports? Any different competition format? What is your take on that? I saw the uh, in out of memory site, mm -hmm. uh, I saw the uh, game mode in memory league. This idea is a uh, multiple player championship. Ah, uh, nice, nice. Like two versus two, three yeah. versus three. But uh, that was very interesting. That sounds very interesting for me. Mm -hmm. How does it work? So it's like two players, um, both are, or all four are then memorizing numbers or, and then they add up scores or how does it work? Well, one uh, person, uh, pick the uh, one discipline and the uh, other person in the other team, in the opponent team, uh, pick the one discipline like mm -hmm. that. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very interesting. I think that would help also with um, creating teams and yes. getting a bit more connected with the community then. Um, yeah, very interesting approach. And um, uh, Naoki, do you have a website or a podcast or anything already? Uh, uh, Twitter and mm -hmm. Instagram and Facebook. Cool. So uh, I will put that in the links then. Cool. <laughs> Naoki, thank you very much for taking the time. It's, it's almost one in the morning already. This is very, very kind. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. And good luck with the Egypt competition. I will follow your results. And then uh, we definitely see us here on Memory League on on this channel again. Yes. Thank you, Naoki, and uh, have you. a nice, uh, nice night. Good night, right? <laughs>